Hello and welcome to this uh, course Econometrics. My name is uh, Timo Kosmonen. I'm a professor of business math and statistics at Aalto University School of Business. I have about 25 years of uh, experience in uh, econometrics, both uh, theoretical and applied work in different uh, application areas. And uh, in these video lectures, I will uh, share some of my insights on, uh, on the econometrics with you. So I will start with the uh, introduction and uh, discussing uh, what is econometrics. So here is a quotation from uh, Wikipedia, which I think is quite nicely describing uh, the area. So uh, econometrics combines uh, economic theory and statistics. So in that sense, it's an uh, uh, interdisciplinary area. Econometrics is done both by economists and statisticians, but also, also in other areas like uh, operational research, management science, uh, business analytics nowadays. So it's truly becoming more and more multidisciplinary uh, area. There is also like uh, connections to areas such as machine learning and, uh, and computer science uh, and, uh, and so on. Uh, traditionally, we can, we can uh, classify econometrics to theoretical econometrics, uh, which is uh, uh, geared towards uh, developing new methods and estimation techniques, statistical tests, properties of those uh, estimators and tests, and so on. And then there is the branch of uh, applied econometrics, which, as the name suggests, is more focusing on application of uh, econometric methods to empirical data. So there is also like a, a spectrum of uh, econometrics uh, that ranges from uh, from straightforward applications to more methodological developments and testing of the methodological developments. So I mentioned that uh, that uh, econometrics is closely related to the to the field of statistics. So how does econometrics differ from other branches of statistics such as uh, biometrics? So, um, of course, uh, econometrics is uh, geared towards modeling uh, economic data or data from, uh, from a business uh, context. So very often, at least traditionally, economic data are observational, which means that uh, the data are not generated in some laboratory experiments or otherwise in a controlled field experiments. But this, uh, this uh, data often are collected from some other purposes completely. And uh, the econometrician just uh, obtains the data from some, some uh, other sources. Um, of course, uh, nowadays also, also economic data are increasingly coming from, from also surveys. So, so survey data could be also used in, uh, in econometrics. And in fact, of course, uh, uh, many official statistics, uh, such as uh, cross domestic product uh, GDP, uh, actually build uh, build also on survey data done by the statistical agencies. So uh, a large branch of econometrics is actually focusing on time series data. So I already mentioned the gross domestic product GDP. So suppose that, for example, we are interested in the GDP of uh, of countries such as Finland. So um, this would then come as a, as a time series that we might observe a time series of quarterly GDP or, or, uh, or yearly GDP going back to the time. And uh, similarly, if you look at something like inflation or, or uh, interest rate, it would be coming in the form of a time series. So at this course, we actually start uh, more from a cross-sectional setting where we observe, uh, uh, for example, a sample of firms or sample of individuals households uh, uh, in a given point of time. So, so uh, we, we observe, for example, over, over some time period like of one year, a cross section of multiple countries or multiple firms. But we do not have this kind of time dimension yet. But we will also consider then the time series data towards the end of the course, which is really um, one of the big areas in econometrics. And then, then we also consider panel data, which combines this time dimension and cross-sectional uh, dimension. So an example of, of uh, panel data could be a, a cross-country panel of, let's say, OECD countries. So we observe a number of countries, but we also observe the same countries over multiple time periods. 
say 10 years or 20 years time period so so that would be then the the characteristic of the of the uh, that very often in uh, economic data we have either time series or panels rather than rather than cross sections and this will be also covered during the course so what are the aims and scope of this uh, this present course so this is intended as an uh, intermediate uh, level econometrics course so assume that you have some uh, some uh, knowledge of basic statistics but um, but uh, not uh, not necessarily very technical and mathematical as more advanced econometrics uh, courses would be and uh, one aspect of the of that i would like you to learn from this course is to be able to to read with understanding studies that other econometricians have done or other statisticians so very often nowadays it's important that you even to understand some some news articles you need to be able to understand okay how research is done and how this kind of uh, quantitative research is done and uh, this is the first aim that uh, that uh, if you are user of this kind of uh, econometric studies you might be a manager or policy maker so you should be able to understand how how uh, this type of research is done and not only econometrics but uh, in quantitative uh, studies in general and statistical studies in general so even if you if you are not really becoming a professional econo economist or econometrician uh, as most of you probably will never 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 be it's very important still to be able to understand what the what the econometric studies can tell you and how to how to interpret and utilize such studies uh, but also my more ambitious goal is that also give you some some um, uh, competence to actually do also some empirical research uh, and uh, not necessarily just in economics but also in, in in business areas finance business analytics marketing accounting whatever so so uh, this can also give you some valuable tools uh, so i believe very often actually if if, uh, if um, for example bachelor's thesis or master's thesis is uh, doing some kind of quantitative uh, uh, methods even if it is some some state-of-the-art business analytics I believe that lessons from this econometrics course will become very useful at that stage. And um, so, so we will have some some uh, weekly exercises with the, with real world data to to give you hands on experience. Uh, but also, I would say I will try to aim to find some kind of optimal balance between applied versus theoretical econometrics. So even though. Uh, in my mind, this, this course is relatively applied, so often, often when I read the student feedback, uh, then uh, students might find it very theoretical. But, uh, but um, I would argue that it's also important to have also some theoretical knowledge, because uh, otherwise it's very difficult to know, okay, which variables to include in the model, how to, how to build the model, uh, what kind of factors to take into account in this, in this modeling. So it's not only learning some kind of programming language and uh, and uh, writing some code. You also need to understand what you are doing. That's that's in my view even more important than than be able to write some code and and get some kind of uh, uh, yeah, or, or trick your computer to do some computations for you to give some numbers. It's even more important, I believe, is the interpretation of those numbers and uh, and this kind of uh, experience in in uh, in modeling. How to how to build a model? How to interpret the results? How to how to read some kind of warning signs that you might might have in your your statistical tests, for example? So it's more like kind of um, let's say if you if you want to learn to drive a car, you don't need to be a car mechanic, but you have to have some kind of understanding of how the car functions. Otherwise, you you cannot also also safely drive a car. So that's what I mean by try, striving for optimal balance between applied and theoretical knowledge that certain level of theoretical knowledge is needed to be successfully applying the, the this knowledge but i i don't mean to be too technical and uh, and too mathematical i try to avoid uh, avoid too many technicalities however i also want to enable those of you who are interested in it continue then to more advanced uh, courses in time series econometrics or or, or whatever area perhaps even doctoral studies 
then I want to give you those of you who are interested and in to continue further some some um, uh, necessary background that it's also possible to then extend further if you if you become fascinated about the topic and want to learn more. Okay. So that's a summary of of uh, of uh, the learning goals for this course. It's quite ambitious and uh, and uh, in that sense not necessarily the most easy course that uh, that there is but I, I believe that it will be very valuable and uh, and uh, and uh, particularly for doing some kind of empirical research perhaps in as part of your thesis work but also potentially in your professional life wherever that might be so in this course uh, this my teaching of the course is organized in this kind of uh, relatively short video lectures I try to keep them short, that they are, they are not boring uh, for you to watch and they are easier for me to record. So uh, the next topics I will cover in this part of the introduction, I will firstly discuss uh, some uh, prerequisites that you should know before this course. And if not, then which, which kind of skills to, to rehearse before continuing. I will also walk you through an empirical example of uh, related to hedonic modeling of housing market. This is a nice example to illustrate many of the topics in the first part of the course. So I will spend some time to explaining this example. And uh, as the fourth topic of the introduction, I will also also make a short video about uh, econometric software. This is a topic that often raises a lot of questions in my experience. So I want to also a little bit justify uh, the choices that we have made for this course and uh, and also also give you some kind of um, uh, issues to consider when choosing which kind of software you you could you could utilize. So this is of course very relevant part for this gaining this real world uh, experience and hands on experience of doing econometrics. So so for that purpose you need to have some kind of software package. Um, I do not bother you now with with the, with a lot of practicalities. Uh, uh, I would advise you to read the syllabus with care. So all the practical arrangements are explained there in the syllabus. And if you have some questions, then don't hesitate to send me send me email and we will clarify. Also, because of the ongoing uh, Corona pandemic, uh, it's possible that there will be some changes in the practical arrangements. So this is why I would also advise you to follow on a regular basis the updates on the course website on the, in my courses. And uh, if you are signed up for the course, you will get also email notification of any any updates that uh, that are coming. So because there's also a possibility of changes, I do not then then tell about the practical arrangements in the video lectures, but rather this will be communicated then through the website. So I hope you enjoy the course. And uh, one more thing I want to mention that um, that uh, there is this uh, suggested order of uh, following this video. So starting from uh, theme one and going through A, B, C, D, but uh, feel free to also also follow the videos in, in some other order if you like. So if you want to jump now immediately to the econometric software, it should be possible. However, as, as we proceed to more and more advanced topics, it's building on the on the on the what we have already discussed earlier. So at least I, I hope you don't jump to then then topics uh, of team uh, two or three without going through the 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 uh, necessary parts of 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 uh, earlier earlier themes okay and if there are some kind of uh, uh, optional topics then then i will also clearly indicate those okay thanks for your attention and see you in the next video bye bye